Elizabeth was succeeded by James, the first Scots king of England. Soon after he took the throne, he decided to commission a new, definitive English translation of the Bible. Classically educated himself, he appointed six different panels of 47 scholars in all to do the work. They met separately in Westminster, Oxford, and Cambridge, each group working on different chapters for a, a new English text based on both Greek and Hebrew sources, as well as the extant English translations it was to replace. When this was done, each panel sent representatives with its new text to a fourth panel, which wove it all into a final text to be submitted to King James. It was worth the work. In 1611, after seven years of effort, the King James Bible was published, and aside from its ecclesiastical purpose, was recognized as a great work of literature. It's described not only as a monument of English prose, but is the only great work of art ever created by a committee. After nearly four centuries, it's still used in English-speaking churches all around the world. Just as important, the King James Bible, along with Shakespeare, has helped shape the language itself. This means more and more as the use of English grows throughout the world, becoming the lingua franca of our time. If it can be said of any single published work, this is surely the Bible. Why is the King James translation so good, so clearly the best? What makes any writing good? Strong, simple sentences, vivid, active verbs and nouns, colorful images, good dialogue. When it's as good as this, it also touches the heart.